You're now tuned into a Soapbox Heroes production. I'm your host, Happy Boots of 365PR, and I'm here with Miss Megan, known as Miss Megan the MILF. <laughs> so, it's been a year since you dropped your OnlyFans account. I did. It's How has fun. that experience been for you? Exciting. Exciting? Mm hmm. Well, as we can recall, uh, we said at Bossy Inc. Studios last year, um, moments after you dropped the OnlyFans, and there was a lot of people who had a lot of positive things to say, mm -hmm. and also there were some people that had a lot of negative things to say. Is that correct? From what I understand, I never really paid attention or gave much thought to the negative criticism, but I know it was out there. For sure. So, um... Basically, you're saying that none of the comments really had any effect on you, whether it was good or bad. Right. Okay. And would you say the experience of dropping the OnlyFans, was it worth it? Most definitely. And when I say worth it, I'm meaning worth it. Like, I know there was um, some hardships initially mm -hmm. um, with your family right. um, when you dropped it. They didn't really understand, but sure. after the first interview that we did, they got a better understanding and things went on from there. So how is your family feeling now, a whole year later? Um, well, a whole year later, we have traveled to Miami, San Antonio, um, you know, different places as a, as a family. So um, everything's been a blessing, actually. You know, it's just... Um, it made me and my daughters um, actually a lot closer. Okay, okay, Brought okay. Us a lot closer. Okay. And um, as far as like financial stability, how was that? You know, what are your responsibilities at, at present time? Yeah. So um, of course, you know, being in being in the industry, um, I'm in the music industry. So a lot of times, I create my own paycheck. No one ever had a paycheck for me to pick up on a Friday afternoon. Right. When I left corporate America, sure. I left that. So um, tapping into a world where I can, you know, cash out every seven days if I want to, and for a whole year now, I've had it you know i've been able to cash out thousands of dollars so um even though i um so yeah i mean not thousands of dollars but really thousands of dollars so i'm able to pay for my lifestyle and also you know take care of my children in a maybe too much now right right okay so um so yeah i mean it's 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 just been a blessing to me. I've not only about the money though, but just really taking time and loving me, Miss Megan. Okay, and so everybody wants to know. I know a lot of people have subscribed. Um, while we're talking about work, before I transition into the next thing, are you comfortable sharing how much you grossed from OnlyFans in a year? Uh, yeah. I mean. I really don't. I'm pretty transparent. Okay, yeah. well, drum roll, please. Can we get a number? Uh, okay, well, so um, I hit my one year anniversary, what, a day or two ago. So, 24. Uh huh. As of um, today, I did the my little screenshots and that. Um, I hit $214,000.77. <laughs> Well, so, you heard it from uh, Miss Megan herself. Mm -hmm. um, she made now. Um, that's not two thousand. I made two hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> so yeah, in my books, it was worth it. Yeah. Um, For sure. So, uh, what are you planning on doing? Are you going to continue the OnlyFans? Yeah. Um, what is the whole thing like when the people subscribe are you having sex or no. are you not no not having sex i'm not having sex um i'm you know really just tapping into myself loving yourself. you know loving myself um i do 
still do um, shoots with um, my sauce daughters. Okay. Um, so, you know, whenever we all have time, you know, we schedule and do those things. But at the end of the day, um, you know, people want to see Miss Megan the MILF. For sure. Um, I think the facade of the older white lady that's able to be around, you know, the younger generation of of what's hot, you know, and I can I can I can get the respect that I deserve because I, that's what I put out there. So sure. I don't I can move around in situations and not have to have you know trade favors for sex or barter or do anything it's just pure business and work you know sure. so that's the great thing so yeah like just you know me being able to 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 really handle business complete my task and still have you know the the uh, males as my um predominant who i work with and I, I i can actually say um that i've been out with you and we've gone to some places and you had something simple as a Miss Megan the Milf lighter. Mm -hmm. And I've seen where, you know, people were paying up to 20. Then someone's like, 20? 100. 100? Yeah, what no, no, I'm about? serious. But I'm saying, <laughs> ideally, that's what it was. <laughs> but there was only a few of them left. And so right. then they was like, I'll, I'll pay 100 for it and things like that. So I know mm -hmm. how powerful um, the branding for that has been and how lucrative that it has been. And, um, I would say that if there was any type of message that you would want to give out to anybody well, as far as like hmm. who would want to embark upon some of the same thing but are scared what people may say uh, right. what advice would you give them would you encourage them to do it or to, to do an OnlyFans or anything that okay. people may have negative things to say what would you sort of advise them well I would like to tap in real quick to not only the facade of the, the guys that I can handle that. That's kind of where I want to end that situation. You know, like I can handle being in a group of, you know, guys and working and doing business. Now, on my other side, I have like received so many DMs, so many like times people I will be in another city, another state at an airport in a freaking Walgreens in the back aisle 10 in L.A., and someone will say, oh, you're Miss Megan, you know, so um, I had a San Antonio meet and greet a couple weeks ago and a lady came up and she's like, I'm, I'm Miss Chris. And she told me how I changed her life on just um, she went through a big weight loss, feeling bad about herself. And, um, you know, I recall getting her DMs and stuff. So to see her in person and for her to say I made an impact, you know, to make her start loving herself and paying attention more to herself. She's an older woman, you know, um, you know, those are signs that I look for. So. So signs, I'm a big, I'm a big sign reader. But what was your question, Booth? Because no, you answered it. Yeah, it was just like, like I, I want to be an inspiration. inspiration. Like I want people to know. I'm, mean, I want women, men, kids, whoever. Like you just have to love yourself. You have to be comfortable with yourself, and and just stand on what you say. You know. For sure. Because the world is not just the industry. It's the world will push it. You have to set boundaries. You have to know when to what to entertain. You know, I, I've I've just risen, rose or whatever to so many different levels. Where now I'm at the point where, if I foresee a situation where my energy is going to be curved in any way, I avoid it. I don't like confrontation, right? Sure. So um, my thing is just to, yeah, I mean, just be you, love yourself. Okay. Well, that's it. We just want to give you an update. Stay on how Miss Megan the Mill stand tall and proud. I mean, because it's not easy, you know, especially in my world. I, yeah, it's not roses. I work with these guys, you know. Yeah, we don't have sex and we don't, they don't beat me up and nothing crazy like that, but it's still a man's world. Sure. Right? Right. You know, I still have to deal with, you know, different personalities. Yeah. So that, thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe. Subscribe to Miss Megan's OnlyFans page. And, uh, ooh -wee. <laughs>